if we were promised two things from the future that we were really excited about but have yet to be delivered, it's got to be the bionic suit and the personal robot butler. Fortunately for us, Samsung is working on it. Well, sort of, kind of, with its new line of robots that we got to see here at CES. On the robots front, it's pretty simple. You've got three models. You've got Bot Care, Bot Air, and Bot Retail. As those names suggest, Bot Care is basically a home assistant. It will bring you things, remind you to take your medicine. It can measure your heart rate, tell you if your grandparents have fallen over and call 911, even that kind of thing. The second one is less interesting, in my opinion, is Bot Air. It's really just an air purifier on wheels, but they're calling it a bot, so, you know, Samsung, you go with that. The third one, Bot Retail, is a bit like those pepper robots from SoftBank that we've seen. They'll point you to where the stores are, tell you how to get around, where the food court is, that kind of thing. But this one also comes with NFC. You can order food, it'll bring it to your table. You can pay for it right there. It's kind of clever, and we'd love to see that in more cafes, because, you know, we all hate interacting with real human beings. For me though, the most interesting thing is their exoskeletons. The exoskeletons actually come in three different varieties. There's one for your ankle, one for your knee, and in my opinion, by far the most fun, the one for your hips. Now this thing kind of looked like techno lederhosen, I've got to admit it. It's not the most glamorous looking device, but it's pretty comfortable, weighs 2.1 kilos, so it shouldn't carry too much heft. So you might be asking exactly who needs an exoskeleton from Samsung? Well, according to the company, it could be two main groups of people. First of all, there's people with mobility issues, perhaps the elderly uh, who need assistance when they're walking upstairs or just to get around in general. According to the company, this will save you 23% energy in your general preambulations around the house. Or it give you a boost in speed of up to 19%, which for me sounds perfect for when I'm at the airport. I got to try it and it's a kind of a whole bunch of fun. I tried the power assistance mode first of all, and I really could see how that would help someone with mobility issues. And it's also just kind of fun to use in and of itself. Walking isn't fun. Anything that helps with that makes life better. Also, there's the stairs assistance mode, which will help you get up and then add resistance when you're going down to stop you from falling over. This is obviously great for old people, but I could also imagine this being great for if your job involves a lot of stairs. This is a practical application where this could really be a benefit. Resistance mode, it was kind of fun to feel like I was walking through water, even though I was just walking through a conference hall. But as a fitness option, I'm not sure, but I could see some benefits for rehabilitation. So it looks like Samsung's taking on the likes of Pepper on the robot side, and all those industrial exoskeletons that we've already seen, but aren't meant for the consumer. So it's definitely interesting to see a company like Samsung move into that space. The big problem is, of course, like that robot butler and that bionic suit, we don't know when they're going to arrive or how much they're going to cost. For more at CES, head to engadget.com.